Hi guys, Misha Crossing here. Welcome to another day here in Kodama. I've still got my little snowflake glow wand on me. Who mailed me something? Oh, it's Chow, because he left yesterday. Hey, Amisha. Yep, I've decided to move to another town. I think 70% of me is excited for something new, but 30% of me is sad to say goodbye to all my friends in town. Oh well. <laughs> From Chow. <laughs> I love that. Oh well. Whatever. Say la vie. <laughs> Alright, and today's a very exciting day. I am going to uh, go invite Deirdre to move into town. I need to, just before I forget, <laughs> I'm going to put some designs on the ground here so that whenever I am plot resetting for Deirdre tomorrow that she will not show up um, <laughs> where I don't want her. And villagers have a nasty habit of moving in to where former villagers were, so just gonna prevent that right off the bat. Alright, well, I'm going to just go directly um, to this town. Um, let's see, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and head on up. Thought about doing something else first, but yeah. I think she's also gonna give me a Wii U, which is really exciting. Um, I just am really not good at getting play coins. Um, I never actually walk with my 3DS and I don't really have, I don't know, I don't really want to just sit there and shake my 3DS to get the play coins and I don't have any of the um, Animal Crossing Amiibos that would give, uh, or that would have a Wii U in their uh, RV, so, oh well. <laughs> but she has been so kind as to give me one of hers, as well as giving me Deirdre, um, her, we're, we're mutuals on Tumblr, her, uh, her Tumblr is Anime Crossing, it's like A-N-I-M-A-Y, because her name is May, um, her town is Delfino, it actually is a very, very pretty town, um, so I'm excited to go, and I don't think, I've, have I been to the dream town? I don't think I've been to her dream town. Really the only dream towns, um, I've been to are the ones that I've recorded um, in the last several months, so it's been a while since I've visited any except the ones that I've recorded. Um, so I'm excited to see her town. Um, yeah, she told me that Deirdre is one of her favorite villagers um, as well, but she has Deirdre's, um, what's it called? Amiibo card, so she was fine with uh, moving her out to give to me, which I thought was very, very sweet. Very excited to get her. I'm just getting like all of my dear villagers out of the way. Those are the first ones I think I've really gone out of my way to get. <laughs> Welcome to Delfino. Hi, Delfino. So I suppose I, I, she might have the Wii U sitting out. I'm not sure. Um, we might go to Deirdre's house first. We'll see. It's always fun visiting someone else's town. I love it. Oh, let me... Tell her, hello. Is this mine? Did she wrap it? Let's see. Let's open it up. Yay, it's the Wii U console. Say thank you so much. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's all wintry now. I think I used, yeah, I used these paths in, uh, my town Rivendell for the winter. They're really, really uh, pretty winter paths. I love them. And they could work, um, you know, not in, in winter as well, I think. But they do look fairly icy. And I love it. This is such a pretty town. Oh, we're having a bit of, a um, little bit of lag. Oh, those flower boxes are really pretty too. I don't think I've seen those before. Um, oh, that was cute. It, like, zoomed in on me going into the door while her character was making a, an emotion. Look at Deirdre! I love her! <laughs> Listen, guys, Deirdre is literally me in villager form. Um, <laughs> we've, some people on Tumblr and I have agreed to this. Um, she's a Yuchi, and I'm definitely a Yuchi. Um, 
Inya, dear Trace me. Hold up, I haven't seen you before. Are you a visitor? It's probably a good omen to meet someone from another town just before I move, don't you think? Perhaps the winds of fortune will guide me to a new destination. Man, that sounded really dumb. <laughs> Come live in my town, or that did sound dumb. <laughs> I would never tell her that sounds dumb, so come live in my town. Seriously? Wait, what town are you from? Hmm, Kodama, huh? I hadn't even thought of that place. But why not? Let's go for it. Kodama, here I come. Us meeting like this has got to be a sign. See you there, whatevs. Yay. So excited. I'll say yay. Got her. God, typing on this keyboard is like the slowest thing. <laughs> Oh, Deirdre waved to me. So I'll be plot resetting for Deirdre tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow's episode, I will I will have her her plot set. Um, yeah, gotta be happy. <laughs> All right, I will say thanks again. Yay. And she shall end. Oh, I see a little pink villager <laughs> up there. And bye! I really hate typing on that keyboard. Like, I like talking to people, obviously, as I'm playing with them. Um, but it can just take forever to type stuff on that keyboard. Oh, look at- I can't remember that villager's name, that little pink bear, or pink panda. Um, but she's cute. Okay, no touching. Don't touch power supply. Right, going back home. Oh, so I'll have to play, um, <gasps> Desert Island Escape soon. I might do that today. I should do that today. I'm worth it, you know? I'll take this home right now and play it. Might not get to do anything else in town except for playing this game, but still. Well, let's see what's on the board. Oh, they have a very fine seven lamp. The other day, they or yesterday, I think they had a very fine one lamp. They are on it. Okie dokes. And I am so excited um, to have my Wii U and to have Deirdre moving in. Oh, Snowball, hello. <clears throat> but I don't know where I want her house to be. Hmm. Maybe I should have her move where Peck was? I don't know. Alright, Wii U. There you go. Looks very out of place in a witch's house, but let's play! It's a Wii U console. Do you want to play some Desert Island Escape? Uh, yes. <laughs> Throw it at me. Yeah, I've not played this at all. I'm very excited. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, and the Kodama's flag there. <laughs> it's cute. Beginner, one. Okay, yes. Target score, 37,000. Okay. I literally have no idea how to play this game. <laughs> so let's just start out at level one. You can use amiibo cards or figures or two play coins each to select up to three companions. What? Um, so I have to pay play coins to uh, have these as my companions? Oh, okay. Hmm. So I had two play coins. That's all I got. Um, oh, Lone Wolf. I don't know what any of those little symbols below him mean. I'm gonna grab some of my amiibo cards here. <gasps> can I do NPCs? Can NPCs join me? Oh, she can! Yay! Um, there's Celeste. Um, who else do I want to join me? Somebody cute, guys. Um, or someone that I would actually want on a desert island with me. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, let's do, let's do Isabelle. Come here. Yay. <laughs> Sniff them out. I don't know what it means, but I'm excited. What is this? Oh, okay, I can rearrange them. I don't know why I'd want to rearrange them. Let's start off with Isabelle. Um, okay. That will cost two play coins. Is that okay? 
All right. Gosh, I guess I I was just talking about how I can't get play coins. <laughs> oh, this is cute already. Alrighty, I have seven days left. Whatever that means. Desert Island escape rules. It looks like somebody on Tumblr is writing this with the little psh, little uh, swirly marks beside it. Uh, materials for building a raft are hidden on the island. You and your hand-picked band of pals must explore the island, find materials, gather food, and plot your escape. But don't dilly-dally, there's a time limit. Your score is displayed on the touch screen in the center. Your score depends on exploration and progression, so do your best. Okay. I have to escape within seven days. Isabel's turn. Alright. Her power is sniff them out. She has a heightened sense of smell. Can detect items in nearby place spaces. Oh, nice. Um, I mean, that's the only space I guess I can go to. Let me view the map. Cool. So I've got... Um, oh my gosh, I'm getting texts in the group chat. So this is all clouded out. Oh wow, it's big. <laughs> cool. Interesting. All right, that's the only space I can move to, so let's go right here. Oh, look, she can see that there's, um, uh, wood right here. Yeah, you got a stick. Maybe you can make a tool. Oh. So it's not wood, like, for my raft. <laughs> and, yeah, I guess I'll go right here and get this rock. Maybe I can make a tool with a stick and a rock. So how do I... Okay, so items and materials. I've got a stick. And I've got a stone. But I want to be able to make a thing. Can I not make a thing? Ugh, whatever. Oh, Wolf Link prefers solo activity, even when it comes to camping. Focused on finding raft materials and food. Won't rely on tools or medicines. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's send him over here, I guess. Well, it has a question mark on it. Why? Ooh! More sticks. <laughs> huh? Stick? No thanks. Oh no! <laughs> he just won't pick it up. That's funny. Okay, Celeste, her power is fly, able to fly freely on magnific magnificent wings, even over mountains. But precision suffers a bit, so no landing on adjacent spaces. Oh, look how cute she is. Aww. Yeah, so I guess I'll go over here. Makes my uh, trip a little easier. Oh, I got a sail! Awesome! To get off the island, complete the wrap by collecting three logs and one sail. Yep, I got the sail. Um, okay, yeah, she said she can't land on adjacent spaces. I'm gonna try these bushes here. See what's in here. Oh, what's that? I got a piece of cloth. Maybe you can make a tool. How do I know I can make a tool? I just don't know. When everyone is taking a turn, night falls and the day ends. Choose an explored space to set up camp there. Everyone will start from that space in the morning. Huh. Oh, lone wolves camp by themselves. Aw. Um... So I will go here. Do you want to stay here tonight? I guess so. Be a good little place to start from tomorrow. Uh -huh. In your camp, you can combine resources and create equipment. Oh, okay, cool. Once you finish preparing, eat dinner and get some rest. Note, eating uses a day's worth of food, so keep an eye on quantities. I don't think I have any food. Um, let's see if I can make a tool. Um, cool, I can make several tools. Um, maybe I'll make a net, or, no, maybe a shovel. Maybe a shovel would be good. Yeah, I'll make a shovel. Sure. Yay, there it is. Good job, guys. Pits won't be a problem anymore. Oh, there are pits. What should we do now? Uh, let's eat and sleep. Oh, <laughs> they're so happy with their food. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Maybe tomorrow is the day we escape. <laughs> this is a really cute game. I like this a lot more than Puzzle League. I do like Puzzle League a lot, though. It's cute. But I like this one more. 
Alright, so, oh, what is this? Uh, I think I'm gonna send Celeste over in that direction, so I'll have Isabel go up here. Oh! Huh? Looks like there's something buried here. Let's see what it is. She's gonna use the shovel that we made. Oh, it was a pitfall. Whew, that was close. Someone could have fallen into the pit. I wonder what would happen. Would that just, like, I guess make her lose her space? Oh, wait. <laughs> if you get a pitfall seed, you can use it to make a pit. By making pits near areas with wild creatures, you can avoid combat. But it's possible to fall into your own pit, so be careful. Okay. I found one pitfall seed. Should I rebury it? Um. I don't know. No, I feel like I don't want to. <laughs> I kind of want to see what a... Ooh. Um. Well, I want food. Oh, well, I have two moves left. Um, so yeah, I'll get a log and then I'll get food. I got a log. That means I only need two more. And then I'll go here and get this food. Aw, this is so cute. Oh, this tree is full of delicious peaches. Shake the tree to get the fruit. Alright. She's doing it. Oh! Okay. I don't know. Ooh, yeah, I got four peaches. Go me. One just came out of nowhere. I got some food. Our food supplies has increased by four rations. Man, go me. Okay, it tells me down there how many days of food I have left. Cool. When you find edibles such as fruit or fish, <clears throat> they're stored as rations. When you have enough food rations to satisfy your entire party, your camp food increases by one day's worth of rations. Cool. Good job, Isabel. Let's go see what Wolf Link can find down here. Uh, string? He's gonna toss it away. No thanks. <laughs> Link, why? So, nothing's going on back there. Okay, well, I guess that's as far as he can go. Um, there's fish down there, but he doesn't have any interest in, uh, tools. So, I guess he won't use it. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have a fishing rod yet, but if I did have a fishing rod, he would not use it. Um, yeah, I guess I should go over here. Fly on over. All oh, pears! We're getting so much food today. This might be a really long episode, because I definitely want to complete, um, <laughs> this day in... Oh, I only got two pears. So I definitely want to complete this, or not this day, but this week. Um, in Desert Island Escape. I want to escape! I should show myself escaping! Okay, now we're gonna... I guess that's the only space I can go, so we're gonna go over there. Oh, and I got another stone. Yay. And do I have a space left? Oh, pick a spot to pitch your tent. Um... I wish <laughs> Link didn't camp all on his own. Uh, uh, should I send someone down there to get those? I don't know if they're going to be that important. I don't know. Let's camp right here. Sure, why not? Make camp. I want to go see what that fort is, though, that, like, wooden, um... Oh, I can't make any tools, can I? Nope. So I'll just eat and sleep. The kind of treehouse, big wooden stand looking thing. Wonder what it is. Good work, everyone. Maybe tomorrow's the day we escape. Mm. If we find two more logs, maybe. <clears throat> Five days left. Man, I only need to find two logs. I got this. So hard. Um... Let's go up here, since there's a question mark. <gasps> oh no! Eek! It's a centipede! What should I do? Um, I could fight or I could flee. Um... So is that telling me my chances? Oh, okay, yeah. So if I fight, the centipede has a better chance, but if I flee, Isabel has a better chance. I'm gonna try to flee. Does she have any, uh... She doesn't really have a weapon. Yay! She's gonna make it. <laughs> Look at her. 
running away. Whew, a clean getaway. That's a big a mm, big ol' centipede. <sighs> okay, guess we're going over here. And then up here. Hopefully this one is... <gasps> oh no, it's bees! Whoa, it's a beehive! If those bees get away from their hive, I can snack some honey. Mmm, sure, let's try to shoo them away. Oh no! <gasps> She's just fighting with those bees. Oh no! Oh wait, is that good? Yeah, that's good. That means I get five honey. Huh, I scared off those bees. Food supplies, honey is increased by five. Nice! We're doing so well. We have so much food. Alright, Wolf Link's turn again. Maybe I'll have him explore, uh... Can I go here? Yay! I'll have him explore this little, little space. Oh, he's so happy to be up there! About lookouts. Lookouts offer great views. From the top of a lookout, you can see more of what's out there. Oh, cool. Uh, now Celeste's turn. Um... Should I send her over there? Should I send her up here? Uh... Hold on, let me view the map. Yeah, because maybe I should send Isabel over in this area and I'll send Celeste. Um, I'll send Celeste up here one and then I'll start making her go over. Yeah, I'll send her right there. She landed so safely. Huh? I just saw a fish! But I don't have a fishing rod. Aw, I wish we had a fishing rod. I guess I do need to send her down, um... Down here. I bet that twine or whatever it is would make a, uh... Make a fishing rod. Um... Maybe I should have everybody start down here a little bit... Lower... I'll have everybody start out here, and then Celeste can kind of go up over here. Isabel can go over here. Or somebody can go down over here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Trying to be real strategic about this. <laughs> okay, I don't ha I can't make any items, so I'll just have them eat and sleep. <laughs> okay, need two more logs. Big goals. Two more logs. Alright, Isabel's turn. Wait, where am I gonna send her? Oh, look, there's a little stone hinge down there. Cool. Um. Sorry. Trying to think. I guess I shouldn't have had them camp right there. I can't really get anywhere I need to get. Um. <laughs> um I'm like too centered. Uh. That was my bad. Can she go? Yeah, she can go here with, with Wolf Link. That's cool. Oh, my mom's calling me. I will call her back in a moment. Um. Oh, and I'll send her to this. <gasps> Yay, a log! That's all I've ever wanted is another log. Yay. Can she still... Okay, no, she can't move again. <laughs> well, I thought... Well, what's the point of the lookout? I'm supposed to be able to see more. Hmm, I don't know. I guess I'll send him over here and right here. Yeah, have him explore those bushes. Oh no, he fell in a pitfall. No, it's a pit. Aw, oh, buddy. <gasps> uh oh. What does that mean? I'm stuck, I can't move. Help! Aw, oh, I just ended his turn, I guess. Yeah. All right, where? Uh, 
Um, what are all the ones and twos? Like, I can't get to all those places in two moves. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna get that stick. Tomorrow I'm gonna get that twine or string or whatever it is. Alright, I think that ends the day. I am going to set up- <gasps> Can I set up camp in the, uh, in the lookout? That'd be cute. Um, but we need to go over here. Hmm. But I need to get that twine. Okay, I'm gonna set up camp right here. <laughs> yes. Wait, what? What should we do now? I'll make a tool. What tool can I make? Can I make a fishing rod? Aw, oh, no fishing rod. But I will make a bug net. Sure. Maybe the next time I see one of those uh, big centipedes, it'll help. Nets are hel helpful in obtaining honey from bees without being stung. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. Um, maybe a slingshot. Come on. I'll see what that one's used for. Or maybe I should wait until I can get a uh, fishing rod. Let me just see what th this one does. You used to drive off wild animals that are prone to attack within the jungle. Ooh, yeah. Let's let's get that. Make it. Yay, slingshot. Ta-da, slingshot. Now we can face wild creatures with confidence, I hope. And now we should eat and sleep. Just have a few days left. Oh, this episode is getting quite long. Oh, wait. Uh-oh, there's no more food. We'll need to find some tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try my darnest. We need more food supplies. Okay. Alright, Isabel. Maybe, I don't know, send her over here? Um... Anything? Nope. Nothing. She got nothing. What's here? Anything? Nope. What's here? <laughs> Ugh, he didn't find anything either. Okay, Celeste, it's up to you. Um... Yay! We got some string. Oh, we're not gonna have any food, though. Uh-oh. Your food supplies ran out. Oh, did I did I win or did I lose? Oh, escape failed. They're all dead. Well, actually, I guess they're moving, but still. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I have to have play coins to play this. Oh, just to start a new game over. I don't know. <sighs> well, I failed my first desert island escape. But hey, it was my first one. We made it pretty far. I can't be too upset about it. Um. That was fun. I really like that game a lot. I'll definitely have to do another another round of that in a video soon. Alright, well I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I know we haven't really done much um, in town, and I'm sorry about that, but I am gonna go um, go and buy uh, probably just go to the Nickling store. See what's up there. Oh, I need to put the Wii U in here. Okay, there's the new Nintendo 3DS, so I'm gonna put them right beside each other, and yeah, I'll move the Zelda wig down there. Alright, so tomorrow Deirdre's houseplot will be set, and then the day after that we'll actually get to meet her. I mean, we've met her already, but we'll actually get to see her, you know, in town. Um, and then, what is today? The 22nd? Yeah, Christmas is so soon, guys. Toy Day is coming up so quickly. I'm so excited to play through it. Um, in here what you all got to do on toy day all right thank you all so much for watching if you want to follow my other social media links are in the description box you all have a wonderful day be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome bye